I don't know if that's a suggestion, Volk, but I do think dropping the early good game right now is probably genius. Oh god, I was I was muted when I just did the intro. Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Baza, Castine and Ducky. In the booth is Fimir and PC. Take it away, boys! Hello there, here we are to watch a, a bloody game. That's for sure, guaranteed is there going to be blood. Probably cold blood instead of, instead of rotten blood, but yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, don't blink. Don't go and grab a beer. I hope you've already been the, for your bio break. This is not likely to last many turns. Already the first lizard going off the field there. Ducky with a just horrifically evil Nurgle team. There is nothing missing oh, off this. Give me a second. Kill stacks are plenty. And the lizards, really incredibly ordinary outside of one very, very good skink. Um, Unless something massive happens, this is going to be brutal, and this could be very quick. <sighs> First skink dead. Yeah, left one outside of the boat. Oh, distracted by... Okay, uh, let's already one dead skink. Good. So the tackle mighty blow goat, the, uh, the third of the three hitty goats, the least... Uh, aggressive of the three hitty goats comes for it. And with Asaurus taken off the pitch already, the uh, lizard's down to nine before they start their first turn. <laughs> Who said 8515 was stupid? <laughs> there are not many options for the lizard uh, here besides. Pray for the mighty blow to work every single turn. Yeah. Do you want to die quick? Do you want to die slow? I mean, they've, they've got the super. They've got the super skink and a wizard, so yeah, they, they've always got half a chance until they don't. Basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that's that's true. Jim comes in with a very wise point there. Um, so trying to look positively at this from the lizard's point of view, there is a reasonable Crocs. Uh, even despite losing a Saurus with Silibi, uh, Silly Billy or Slibly on the field, uh, they do still have you know a powerful, strong team. Uh, they can keep that uh, magic skink, which is both plus agility and plus move, and sidestep and sprint and uh, sure feet. So incredibly fast, incredibly agile, near natural one turner. If they can keep it alive and the wizard can turn this ball over, there is still a path to victory. It's a very narrow precipice up a mountain with a ravine on either side and death at the slightest stumble, but there is a path. Yeah, so yeah, asking for a miracle. The kind of game that will be talked uh, about for decades. Yes, it is a near natty, but as... Uh, Gaburku Kingu points out uh, the stink that will presumably be up on the line if it comes to a one-turn attempt will make either the handoff or throw to that skink incredibly difficult. Okay, so we are playing Operation Protect the Skink. Yeah, and no point standing Asaurus up to take a hit. Um, as it wasn't on tentacles, I don't think. It, uh, it just tried to dodge off. Failed, of course. And most of those will, but uh, some won't. And any lizard that uh, doesn't uh, get hit by claw has a better chance of not being dead. Grass hits a lot less hard. We want to see a uh, dead crocs. Unless you're talking the type you get in Hackney. Uh, and obviously we shouldn't discuss that. Yeah, it looks like we're taking the crocs on here. I mean, it is a stand firm piece. It could be mildly annoying to Ducky. So worth killing it. Oh, no, of course, we're going to, yes, hit it with the beast without needing a blitz and then leave the blitz elsewhere. Only mighty blow. The crocs should be able to tank this. Yep. And you're going to foul it. Is it going to hit a foul? One, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. 
We're playing a bit of a risky game though here, isn't he, Ducky, with the ball that far away? Like, it makes sense, obviously, but, you know, it's also... He's got to be wary of the, like, bolt, armour break, bash a hole through and then flood through. Yeah, I mean, I... I've been looking and thinking, is there any point in just trying to get the skinks into the backfield and, as you said, follow up with the bolt or open a turn with the bolt? But it's... It's a long odds play. If you don't break armour, it still doesn't help at all, does it? Really? You'll be able to get some people back and get it into some protection from just a couple of skinks. It's... I mean, it might be worth a try. I don't see... Okay, it looks like he's responding to the threat now. Dropping his utility rotter back. Advancing the ball to the midfield. Oh, just a couple of squares. I like that move. It means that uh, on two go for it, he can reach the halfway line and reunite with the line of scrimmage. And obviously that means without go for it, it can get pretty tight in behind it where it can get some protection. So I think that's a little safer than actually further back. And yet still out of range of the skinks. He went with a foul. Was written on this guy. It's a dirty player foul. Oh, that's a ducky oh, foul. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, Apple fails. Oh, there you go. That's one Apple fail. So the Crocs is gone for this game and the next one. Uh, oh, yes, the next one. <laughs> which will be in the Open League. <laughs> yes, it will. Right, my TFT game's finished now. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be happy to know. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Jim's strategy here. I think there is uh, oh. you can sort of get on top of the three on the line of scrimmage if you pile everything into that push through and put the skinks into the backfield and then look to bolt next turn yeah I quite like that I think it's all you've got because you're already down to um, you know six sauruses and no cross yeah. I think that's gonna happen he's gonna try to push with a skin and a slivily. Yeah, the the, uh, the source that's on the beast can stand up. It's not on a claw, so I think that can still be in the way. I think he can risk tying up the one claw that's directly behind him. I think that he's going to GFI here, isn't he? He's gonna I GFI think he is, here. yeah. No, he's not. I quite like oh, that me. GFI. Okay. Yeah, me too. You know me, I don't hate a rowdy GFI. If it's going to tie up a block, I think, a block guard, yeah. I think that's. Would he's have been even great more worried of. Uh, Protecting the protecting skink, the skink. Because, because if the Slivili marks the rotter... Yeah, I don't think this is quite aggressive enough. Mm. Yeah, no, and I think, I think we needed something on the uh, the Claw Mighty Warrior as well, even if yeah. it was the, the trash yeah, that, skink. That, that, that was, uh, I think that this... this, this this Saurus here, this guy there, and then base the ball, even, or bolt it, yeah. maybe just bolted it before, bolt before and hope for the ammo break, genuinely is probably your best chance. Like, it's, obviously it sounds stupid to <laughs> bolt and hope for an ammo break, but realistically, if this guy was based by a Saurus, yeah. right, and, and this guy was based, and everything else was based, and you had, and you had an edge for skin gear, if the, the ammo break is GG, isn't it, 100%. And well, not GG, but it's a it's a score. It's a defensive score, and it gives you half yeah. It's a time. it's a turnover touchdown, and then you yeah. don't need to defend the the drive back if you don't want to. All you've got to do is try and find a way to score in the second half. Um, I mean, I like that play, Jim. And if it doesn't get the armor break, um, it's it's not the end of it. You've still got you know pressure into his backfield. He's still too far forwards away from the ball area. Um, and any a decent bounce, you know, further away from the line of scrimmage would really really help. So yes. There were some sort of, you know, not needing the entire high roll for it to work. Even if you don't break armor, at least you are taking three movement away from the best your next time. Yeah, so and but you can, would need you know, to do those two go for it's on silly Billy, um, which would, you know, take some nerve. But in a situation like this, I, I'm not sure what you lose if it goes wrong. Exactly. Yeah, it's already already seems pretty lost, yeah. isn't it? This game. <laughs> you have three, four turns. Maximum to do something. After that, it's all dead. 
as you're not looking to actually pick the ball up, Jim, you could even do the go for it with Silly Billy, get the skink up into position, and then bolt at the end of the turn if it's all worked. Yeah, I could have done that. Yeah. Um, and keep it dry if it hasn't. Oh, right. No. So another skink goes. Uh, despite these, uh, the amount of claw bomb around, uh, Ducky's still sticking to the very sensible strategy of thinning the skinks out. Uh, stunty means they do still die easier. Now Bass is running away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he should have gone uh, more, uh, much more aggressive, uh, Basta. Bold, someone, something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, all in. As I said, at the very least, you could have pushed massively Ooh. up onto the ball. Ooh -hoo. And then if it all works. You yeah, can't. well, here's the. This is the problem with the. Uh, oh, no, it's the non AV6 one. It's the AV8, AV8 which regens. Ah, but regen being ridiculously overpowered as always. A bench of four for Ducky looking, looking just like he just doesn't care, does he? He'll have four things he doesn't need. Give you a whiz for free. What does he <laughs> mind? Yeah, I think it's coffee. Exactly as Cindy said. Like I think he just, you know, if you if you don't feel that, then your best case is pretty much overtime, isn't it, or whatever like. Your you, you yeah. win condition is using the Wiz and the Edge 4 to turn him over and... Yes, if you don't field it, you may as well just put all of your other skinks on the field and your worst sauruses. Don't field Silly Billy, don't field the Crocs. Just lie on the ground yeah. and um, and let him score whenever he wishes. Which might have Which been isn't, <laughs> isn't a terrible... St I, can hear, I can hear Jim, can't you? <laughs> Salivating at the very <laughs> thought of that as a plan that might even work. The problem um, is, it's Ducky, and he's got a dirty He'll player. just foul you to pieces, yeah, he's got a bench of four. He'll yeah. just slaughter you on the ground. Yeah. yeah, if you'd done that, he wouldn't have fielded, like, this rotter, and maybe one of... And maybe this maybe this beast man, I don't know. Maybe maybe no beast and no, no rotter and just bottom two rookies. And just, like, you know, if, if you've already taken off the yep. Usaurus, he probably just does that, probably takes off... Just the Michael Flatley'd all over your team. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Sindane. And we, we felt there was a turn where Baza had... I mean, it was a bad shot, but it was a shot at getting some control, possibly even a turnover. And even if not a turnover, maybe just arresting this drive and, and getting the pressure off, able to stay alive a bit longer. But now it's just lizards hiding in cupboards, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's grim. He's going for the handoff to the Warrior as well, levelling for the next round. Disgusterous. Yes, because what oh. this team needs is a bit more development, isn't it? Oh, the toxicity! Oh, the toxicity! <laughs> Disgustorous. Gets a six, doesn't even need the reroll, of course. Yeah. Standard. Oh, nice little chain. Except oh. Him, so he's going to get served instead of chaining. <laughs> should, wow. Should have rerolled that. I mean, you have two rerolls. There is not many more things for you to do. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you re-roll that. You can save a player or something like that. Because next time, Nargel close the gap here with the, for the super skin, and it's Libili. I mean, the plus side is that nothing in that pack of death has claw. Um, but it's still, I think you can put a re-roll into that, because who cares? You're not doing yeah. anything creative this half at all. You need to save one for the chance of the one turn at the end of the half. You still have a team. Yeah. Well, I thought this was likely to go incredibly badly for Bazakistein with multiple casualties and uh, hence him not able to put up much of a fight. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone quite that well. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit. This is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Could he surf the sidestepper? Genuinely, maybe. There really is a big maybe here, right? He could fill in this square. He could push him to there. Then he could block him, chain him to there. Then he could block him and uh, 
or maybe no, then block him and push him to there, and then you've got uh, then you've got a blitz there to surf the side stepper. Woohoo! <laughs> That's definitely on. It's it's possible. It's a hell of a commitment, and I'm not sure Ducky can be bothered. Well, no, I, I wouldn't. Well, but then is there what only else? The what else is going to do with his players? Yeah. I mean the. Nargal Garrior moves up, supported with well, the hands guy just in case of the I, wizard. I, I don't and want to be uh, to be Nelly Doomsayer about this, but the fact is that the lizards are still quicker than the Nurgle, and it is only turn four. True, true. <laughs> um, so if they do find themselves out of position, they could be pressured into giving the lizards two turns, for example. I think which that's would about be it. great. I think that's bad doing this now anyway. Yeah, now he's putting a little can't. pressure. So whilst it's lovely to be in this dominant position, the test for Ducky now, I mean, it's its a lovely test to have, is can he still secure this and not get so far ahead that suddenly a, a quick or interesting dodge from the Lizards can force him to score earlier than he wishes to. Sure hands a little away from the ball carrier just to avoid the fireball. The double, the double surf is difficult to the city, believe. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we the, obviously that's it. You're absolutely right, Fermier. You know, three three squares away, so that the fireball can't cover them both. Uh, meaning that if he bolts the ball carrier, there is still another one to pick up. Uh, it's perfect where it is. The, the job being done there is the bolt bitch. <laughs> so the better pickup is ready to leap in if it does get bolted. Uh, there's at this point no point in bolting it. But if the uh, agility skink was to suddenly start to be in that area next turn, that would be, you know, a livelier threat. As that's also away from where all the beast tackle blitz. mighty blow is, it's got to be done. It's going to be a beast blitz, so you can uh, stick, stick this skink. It is, isn't it? I think that's a good shout, actually. It's it's the one random factor that is a concern to Ducky. Yeah. Goodness knows none of these sources are going anywhere except uh, to Boot Hill. Or maybe double GFI to claw the Saurus and then just move the beast. And then in. just drop the yeah, drop the beast onto the skink afterwards. Oh yeah, you're gonna be the Saurus. Okay, he's gonna he's oh he's got the claw pommer. Yeah. Was, was two GFIs away, didn't realise it was that close. Well, that's much better than the claw mighty. <laughs> yep. And it's the AV6 one which loves to be on its face. Yeah. So there's never a question that's piling on. There's the first death. Hey. Dead! 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 <laughs> and another player uh, for the next game for uh, Ducky. Uh oh. And now, and now the, the beast. Calmly, slowly, just existing. <laughs> now the only player that gives the lizards any hope at all is <laughs> utterly screwed. Yep, it's pretty bad. I wonder if it's better to surf him or claw bomb him, or tackle bomb him. Uh, tackle bomb him. You get SPP from it, and you get tackle, two hits. And then you can fall. If, you do if it, he yeah. fails, fail, you, you can always say uh, kick him in the face. The crowd only get one hit, whereas when you pom, you get two, don't you? Yeah. I think it's better to not surf him. Because you've got a real good chance of knocking him down, haven't he? He hasn't got block. Yep. You've got three dice of block and tackle, it seems. Yeah, seems and the claw pom is right there. Rude not to. There you go. There you go. Oh, look. Uh, no, it's injury, and it's gonna be, this is going to be the second apple. I'd respect him if he piled on for a better injury. <laughs> if only he could. <laughs> that would truly establish dominance. <laughs> no, when well, it's already an injury. Second Apo gone. So now we have, uh, you know, Lizard team are now worried about the fact they don't have an Apo. Slightly more prescient is that they don't have a team. But, um... <laughs> yes. It's a bit of an issue. It's not an ideal situation, is it, Jim? No. <laughs> Depends. If you're ducky, it's perfectly fine. I don't see any problem. <laughs> yeah. you know, Blood Bowl is easy. 
Yeah, if you've bet on this game, like uh, some people in a shady Discord somewhere, <laughs> if you've bet on the if you bet on the ducky one, this is looking fantastic. Paul incoming. Course. Even though it's only two assists, could have waited a turn for the other one. But he's got a bench of four, Jim. Why it's would you not? It's his only dirty player, isn't it? It's his only dirty player. What's left he needs to kill. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, the crops oh, no, is gone, I... the good skink is gone, all the other skinks are trash, and all the sauruses are trash. Oh, true, I would just automatically want a better foul. I'm not saying I'm right, I just. I just wouldn't want to foul with two assists. Yeah, the the eternal perfectionist. <laughs> you, of course, live in a world, Jim, where fouls occasionally get seen by the ref and called as well. I have seen that. Yeah, that's true. Not not really an issue the way Ducky plays Blood Bowl, I've noticed. <laughs> no, some guy won one three. You're probably going to need the wizard to score on your own offensive drive now and then win the overtime toss. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The second half is about keeping the near-natural skink alive behind an ever-decreasing wall of trash until you score as late as you possibly can. Hope they can't score back or that the wizard is still there to help that you stop them scoring back somehow get the ball in overtime. It's a terrible plan that won't work, but it's probably all he's got. <laughs> yep. The power on silly Billy. See now, yeah, the one, he would the one turn the, is on Volk. You'd have definitely had the dirty player for fouling Sibley. See if he hadn't fouled last time. Doesn't need to. He's killed Sibley. I you know, you know when I said that was the first death. <laughs> had a little feeling. Ducky cementing his uh, legend here. You know. <laughs> had a little it... feeling, Jim. We might see another. <laughs> Um, oh, God, God. <laughs> Never lucky. <laughs> Never lucky, absolute icing. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five. So. Oh, look, there's a Saurus still. Yep, one Saurus, five cards. There is a. Ducky has managed to make it one more than cast per turn. <laughs> It's the interesting thing, of course, about the Games Workshop insistence that the plural of Saurus is Saurus, is one can say, I wonder what, uh, wonder what Bazakistein will do with his Saurus, <laughs> and <laughs> whether the one recovers from KO or not, I knew it would be appropriate. Yes. Well, um... Maybe nine players for the second half. That's exciting, isn't it? Are legal concedes allowed in Chalice, says Rando Calrissian. Uh, yes, they are, they are but a legal when you have is... three players. I thought it was two. Yeah, two. If you've got two. If you've... Yeah, yeah. If you if you've got two, and it's not setting them up on the LOS like the real rules. If you've got two players at any point on the field, or yep. suffering and from including, heat. yeah, and including reserves. Yeah. So if you've got two on the field but one in the reserve box, that's not a legal concede. If that one is in the KO box, it is a Glorious. legal concede. No, I won't give in. Oh, Arcade is victorious. And I so what he likes defend. is some uh, pounding defend. action where some Nurgles just slaughter Here we go again. And who can blame him? <laughs> Thank you very much, Arcane. He's doing fantastic for ten glorious months. Oh yeah. yeah couple of internet sites I know of Arcane where you can see this but with added jello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some adversity here for the lizards. Yeah, they'll be loving it, won't they? This is fantastic. Uh, fantastic amount of di uh, diversity. Adversity. <laughs> be absolutely loving this. Uh, Dionysian would be. Uh, there's yeah. no way you could enjoy it more. Also, yeah, there is a lot of diversity in the injuries, or all kind of injuries, dead, perms, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> Miss yeah. next game. <laughs> so despite everything, this is uh, still very much on. It is, yeah. So Ducky has uh, oh. put all the sync up on the line. <laughs> Less so now. What a fucking kick. Good job yeah, Ducky's kick got a kick on, on, a, on one of his uh, players. Oh no, he's just a not, lucky bastard. Not helpful, to put it uh, somewhat mildly. Yeah, that's like a five or six plus pass, isn't it? It's stupid. Yeah, it's it's never going to happen. And then into a, a five or six plus catch. I just failed a foul. Uh, there you go. Because of the smell. <laughs> There However, you go. One of the two pushes he needs. <laughs> one more push and he's in range. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that was the next <laughs> he should have had a guy here. Oh, he? Jim. he should have had a guy here. That's a mistake. A mistake from Baza. A mistake. Wasn't it? Um, it? Wasn't it? Hmm? Yeah, the guy that's just hit. Yeah, Should probably there. have been where you said, and then the other skink could have gone around and filled the hole, yeah. allowing him a second go at that push. Um, yes, I think you're right. But, but um, didn't you know, yeah. Can't blame the guy for not, you know, making a perfect day one turn of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my awesome. Ferrari careers off the mountain track, I do think I should have perhaps worn a seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a mistake, though. It was still a mistake. That's rarity for yes, Baza, it was. Isn't it? it was a mistake. You're right. A second hit could have been easy to have there with just two different with one different position, mm. and then two dodges from the skin. But you know, he was it was never going to happen anyway. But yeah, it it still was less likely the way he tried it. Yes. So the uh, the remaining sleepy saurus says no sod that. And it does not come back. Yes, Master Zone, yeah. It, Baz's mistake was having any any hope to win this game. <laughs> yeah, he was getting up. Um, was turning the computer on. I, look, I think if there was a mistake, and we're, we're really pulling and trying to turn a 2% chance into a 7% chance, but it was that turn where he pushed up his left flank and uh, tried to put some pressure pressure on the backfield ball, and I agree with Jim. That was a turn to try and off and Fermier, That was a turn to try and use the wizard somehow yeah. to up that pressure, and then maybe hope that that snowballed into something. That was the turn to put all your eggs in the same basket and yep. do anything GFIs, whatever. Yep. You need to put as much pressure as possible and play. Yep. And instead, it was sort of. Half creative, but not really committed to. He certainly could have. He certainly could have bribed Ducky to lose. I mean, anyone could win, couldn't they? Anyone could win. Literally, anybody could win Chalice because you could give the admins a hundred bucks to let you qualify, yeah. and then you could yep. give everyone you play a hundred bucks to let you win. I mean, probably not. Probably yeah. less than a hundred, to be honest. Probably, <laughs> probably five. A scotch egg. Eh? Yeah, a yeah, scotch egg. Scotch eggs. Yeah. Give a scotch egg to an admin. Everyone you play, give them a scotch egg to lose. There Indeed, go. when um, when AS was still handing out money, depending on where you've ranked and how you finished, um, I made it widely available to be known that uh, yes, if I was in the chalice against anyone in there, I would sell the victory. Yeah. Uh, for a cut of what they would earn by progressing to the next round, so it's a win all round. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? So yeah. Easy, you say, and then a group of Spanish players, friends, that decide not to play against each other, and everybody goes mental. <laughs> well, I, would have, I would have expected Yaka State to defend me, obviously. <laughs> he absolutely would have done as well. Oh, he failed the pickup, double one. Yeah. Oh, I think I can see a way to manufacture a uh, hit on the ball on the guy next to the ball here. Do you think that there ball is, might be a risk is. here, Jim? Yes. Do you know, there's, there's a point at which... A master player to manage to get three dice. <laughs> Very few players in the world could get three dice on that skin. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There is a point, I don't know about you, Jim, there's a point where if it's going badly, I kind of don't mind if it starts to go absurdly meme level badly. Exactly, yeah, it's easy. Because then I know there's, the yeah, there's nothing I could have done. You know, as Baza, not only was he completely up against it from the very start of this, but whilst his dice haven't been horrific, they've certainly not been decent, and they really needed to be. And everything he's tried, you know, in terms of you know his his surviving hits, 
And in terms of what he's tried, it just hasn't worked. So it, it wasn't going to be. No, I think with sorry. even teams and these dice, he might have Respect to Vasa, like to, follow, death. to follow the theme of the team, the Exchange Mali, which is, a, as I said in the other uh, game, from a series of books, a race on the series of books. And in the series of books, this race is going extinct. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, he's following, you know, Vasa is following the, the, the story and getting the, his players extinct. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there's some point where things are going so bad that you don't care, you know, you just go for the laughs, you play for fun, do things, and it's all right. I mean, let's just yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, you could hear it in the, the tremoring voice of poor little Dimmy G uh, in a very similar position, knew there was absolutely no chance of him winning his game. And yet, when it still happened, when it was still that brutal, when it was still over by turn three, you know, you knew he secretly inside, there was always that bit of hope. And it's the hope that gets you, the hope that dies last. <laughs> He's got it on a prime bolt bitch now, hasn't he? That's yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, you can bolt that all day long. <laughs> Utter bollocks, says Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Dimmy. You don't have to be the big man. It's okay that you were upset. It's fine. Very natural. It's okay to cry, Dimmy. It's okay to cry. We all, we all were there with you. Mostly laughing, but we were there with you. <laughs> right, I'll kill this Next guy time. for a pow. Next time. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, double G if I hit the ball. GG, he'll concede it once that happens. Uh, well, obviously, we've got to bring the super skink. Ah, oh, it's dead. <laughs> no, 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 it's no it's the super skink is in the beach. He's in the beach. It got appled by the uh, the apple work the in the second one. apple. Oh yeah, no, it's hiding there, right at the back. Okay, well, it's it's cock all use there, is it? No. Um, I mean, I, I know it's your only hope, but it's got to be somewhere up where it can affect the action. It's the only player you've got that's any bloody good, and you've got to find a chance to bolt the bolt, bitch, and steal the ball. Oh, there you go. It's coming in now. This is it. This is Oof. it. The king of magic going to happen here. Yeah, this is going to be really quite magical. Okay, if you pick it up and take one square to its left, you're out of all the skit stink. Um, but then, I mean, what do you do? Long bong it back to the AG4? You can blitz this this guy, can't you? Blitz this guy, block this guy, and then you can just run through with this skink and run away. And then tag things with... Yeah. The, Which yeah, is the why the AG4 needed to be up near the line for exactly this play. Well, That's I mean, the skink you want to run through with, isn't it? You should have, you should have started him closer, yeah, in case yeah. he had a bad kick, but I mean, it was just a monkey, wasn't it? He didn't get the power. No. Well, you just go... Mm, you still have to go through tackle, don't you, either way? Yeah, just one. Yeah, just the one. Let's kick uh, with zero SPP, click the ball, get it. Oh, yeah, not happening now. Oh, oh, that's the, that skin could still because it was miles away, masters, and they was like you put him really yes, deep. Yes, but it can't get anywhere. It can get there, but then I mean, punt. It also doesn't have any moves left to get out of the stink, so it was a minus one to punt or throw. Yeah. Just okay, the other skinks are going to shield it. That, yeah. That's great. And the one in the floor is going to try to tag the tackler bomber. Yeah, that's this is the, the one that is, really matters. The problem <laughs> is it doesn't really matter anyway, right? Because he's got to dodge with a Saurus anyway, because there's two tackle bombers, and one of them can hit you. Oh, another dead. Yeah. Like you know, he, he had this one and this one, so. Well, look, the upside is he's, he's got the ball in his hands, so that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the final uh, score screen, you know, possession time. There's going to be, you know, an extra turn for the Lizards. Yeah. Yeah, fat clap. It was a very lame clap, wasn't it? <laughs> it was that bad.
<laughs> then I had to clarify it was a clap, it was... <laughs> but it was, trust me. Yeah, Demi, I'm not having a go, mate. I mean, you qualified, you did great. You got into the chalice, you achieved your goals, your dreams came true, mate. Um, and, you know, everyone said you couldn't win, you said you couldn't win, you started your game. And, yeah, he didn't win. And it's obvious that, that was sad, because no matter how much you know you can't win, you, everyone wants to, everyone starts a game thinking, I know I can't win, but of course I just might. Yeah, there's a chance. There's always a chance. There's still a chance, a chance now, isn't there? There's literally yes. still a chance now. Yes. It would have Ball been quad skulls. Caught another skink. Yeah. Quad yeah. skulls death. <laughs> you know, every, every block can be quad skulls from Ducky. Every, yeah, even every even now you can dodge off the tentacles, pick up in the tackle zone, and run it home. It's mm. you know, it could be a, a one-one at the end of the next turn. Mm. It's not going to be, but it could be that. That is a sequence of events that is not unthinkable. It's just really, really unlikely. Yeah. Exactly, Jimmy. Yeah, Baza did a great job. I mean, in the last game, the, his team was already very, very uh, in a very bad shape. So yeah. reaching this point is good. Yeah, absolutely, Jimmy. He did. He did a cracking job to get here. Uh, he's, he's no stranger to coaching, you know, lizards against big nasty things and trying to get something out of it. Disgustious. But the thing is, at some point, your team starts running out of fuel, and if you don't have things to cover for that, the lack of fuel or the players or something like that, it's a slow downhill until you reach this kind of point. <laughs> oh, Ducky oh, doesn't get to the, the ball. There. So there we are, the player described is on. Yep, easy. Three plus, well, about a fucking, what, nine plus or whatever. Yep, uh, to get off the tentacles. Three plus, five plus, three plus, three plus, two through tackle, easy, and then double GFI. Balls you on. Yeah, piece of cake. There you go. Click a skin, click and song. Once, once you miss, Jim, it's once you've picked the ball up and got through the tackle zones. The GFI is if you fail one, it's, it's not that important. True. <laughs> the only way for so this to that, work... Like they're all as key. They're not. It's fine. Um, you can't even uphill the beast off with the other skink because it's three. That's ludicrous. I oh, know it would be two, um, but it's stand for so. I just type in the chat. I'll come back to set up my team after the you know after the, the touchdown and just click a skin ball touchdown, and that's it. Well, the, be the best plan is to take the full two minutes every turn and hope that Ducky's internet dies. Because that was always your best shot. <laughs> or, or that he gets bored and just decides he's wasting his life and needs to stop playing Blood Bowl and do something else. <laughs> um, well, he goes for the uphill first. Oh, I like, yeah, I like the cheeky uphill. No, he already tried to move from the tentacles. Um. Bouncing the ball. He's a blitzer, so now he can rush back and get that ball. It's, it's a blitz, I mean. Yeah, he shouldn't have followed. Following was crazy. Mm. I guess it was to stop catches and be away of the ball bouncing out further from likely places to go to, but... And I guess if it got pounced up this way, you know, then he's, he's on his way to go through it. Yeah, but I thought it was cray-cray. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, he could have scored, couldn't he? If it scattered, like, out. Yes, I suppose, yeah. And then dodge through, pick it up and go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, maybe, yeah. Might see a foul this turn. When I say might... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely. Oh, no. what makes you think that? One hundred percent, we'll be seeing a foul. You can put the, uh, you can put the beast on the, uh, on the good skink as well, can't? No, Tony, no, I'd give up at this point. Oh, it re rolls. One more thing. Oh, I didn't like that. I would have preferred to have blitzed him off and then put him on the good skin.
<laughs> Fucking ass chicks. <laughs> No, no, he's gone for the pickup. All right, it wasn't one hundred percent that we saw the foul then. He went for the pickup first. It makes yeah. sense. No, I mean I was thinking that whilst Ducky does love a foul and will put one in at every opportunity, he, he doesn't over prioritise them. Weirdly, I mean he orders his turn in such a way normally that it can still be done, but it doesn't ruin everything else. Um, it was one of those occasions where you could have done it like that though, because. It was so critical, wasn't it? Yeah. And there you go, he's off. And that is GG. In the fucking turn, man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that these five players have will in any way conjure up any threat to the six players, sorry, to the procession that the Nurgle drive will now become. But Baza, bless him, going for the big uh, big six plus there for a one die on the ball. I respect that, yeah. but not likely. Oh, no, it was a two die if you got that. Yeah, two die, yeah. Theoretically a skink that could recover afterwards, so perhaps we can say that it should have been maybe harder to get there than a six. <laughs> it can't be harder than a six, can it? <laughs> but oh, yeah, it would be impossible to layer, a square. If it's a six followed by another six, Jim, that's definitely harder. Mm. Or we could change the rules as Matt Dacker would like and uh, do everything on D8s. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, yes, Steve, I would have done something different if I was Baz at the start of this game. Um, I would have not scheduled it for today so that I could have played TFT all day. Um, <laughs> um, I might... Uh, one of two strategies occurs. I'd either have set up deep, you know, try and trap them into still blitzing for the fourth hit and get something away from the rest of the team. Or, as we talked about, um, actually set up really aggressively forwards. Try to tank the first couple of rounds of hits and no matter what goes, try and break into his backfield and get hold of the ball. Yeah, once Ducky had the ball carrier really deep, I really liked like, yeah. trying to bum rush it. I, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, neither of those strategies would have worked any better. Yeah. But that's that's what I'd have tried. Yeah. I think it was a horrible, horrible, horrible match. But... Yeah, it really was. Yeah, he's... Even if it had a single break tackle Saurus, maybe, or a second reasonable skink. I don't think anything's making it. Like on teams, it's 100% Ducky's win. I would say yeah. just 100% yeah. on teams. And then when you add in like the inducements, obviously the wizard gives Bazza some kind of chance. And then just dice in general give Bazza some kind of chance, but it's, it's rough. It's so rough. I mean, I, I don't see what he could have done outside of the Wiz, Slibly, and you know, a second Apo and a Babe. I think that's perfect. Yeah. I don't think there's a better strategy hiding away that could have helped. He could have had store store level chat game. That might have helped. Um, apart from that, I don't know. It's tricky, isn't it? It really is. It's it's a matchup that, no matter what experience you've got of tournament blood bowl, you look at, you just don't see good options. You only see bad options, and so you end up picking one of those without a lot of belief in your heart. But you've got to have a, some idea of what you're trying to do. Yeah. You're trying to get dirty players and do the pass and score in this one. Yeah. Well, it is, as we said, perhaps the one weakness of this team is a second dirty player would be very, very useful. Yeah, that's sorted. The Lizards only made the Nargle stronger. <laughs> yeah. Gave them a couple of players. Uh, uh, one player, one player. No, two players. No, because the Skinks uh, don't get the... The Silly Billy and the... Oh, yes. Silly no, but Silly Billy stars can't get the Nargle Rod either. 
I think. Ooh, that's a good question. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they can. Um, I'm pretty sure they can because I got Eldril before on a, on what's it called? You know, on Fumble. Yeah, um, but isn't is that a zombie? No, no, it was rotters. You know, grief okay. is grief is gonna grief. I got Eldril and then I had to put in a ticket to get him called Eldril. He was like called a journeyman name when I got him. Two secs. Family just leaving. Although I mean, it's over, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. <laughs> yeah, it counts. I don't know how many players Ducky had. He might only have got one anyway. He might have already been on 15 at the start of the game. <laughs> no worries, Ducky. Congrats. Uh, you're totally wrong, Dimmy. That's idiotic. <laughs> no offence. No nah. offence, Dimmy, but that's idiotic. <laughs> this is probably one of the top contenders, but I would never give him a 95%. Yeah. Yeah, definitely top contender and, um, you know, a really good dice for Ducky there. And uh, it was even more one-sided than you'd have thought from the start of the game. I don't believe it can be a Cruz die or Cruz Ducky final. I'm not sure. We'll find out anyway after this. Well, there you go. I think PC's gone, hasn't he? Has he? I've I've just returned. That was my wife and son off till uh, till dinner time. Right. Oh, I didn't fucking send that alert to people in Discord. Never mind. Right. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Ducky and Fimey. Brilliant commentary. Cheers. Uh, it was PC. What did I say? Ducky. He doesn't even know me anymore, for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. name. I'm Thanks, yesterday. Chess. Congrats, Ducky. <laughs> Thanks, Purple Chess. Thanks, Fimey. <laughs> right. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>